On Air Idiots. On Air Idiots. All right, On Air Idiots show. Yes. Big man K. Dubbisis. We got uh-huh. Carrie Hilson here with us. Carrie. Miss and Carrie. Yeah, That's yeah. what I, I'll call you, Miss Carrie. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. And you got the Grammy nod right now. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Do, 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 do you right. feel like you have officially made it now? Um, Definitely not. Definitely not. No? I mean, as soon as I figured it out, as soon as I found out about it, I hopped on a red eye flight to come here and continue working because that's how I got the Grammy nod. So. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, you got to keep it moving. You got to keep working. I don't feel like I made it. I just feel like, okay, that's a nice little, that's a nice little something. It's been a long journey. It has to be a great feeling. I mean, you, you've done so much writing behind the scenes and and then having your album and the success of your uh, your situation and everything and the shows that you're doing, it has to be a great feeling to see the crowd response and hear the response on radio and everything else. Absolutely. It is. It is a great feeling. And actually Hartford, Connecticut has so much love for me. I could feel it the whole time I was on stage. So minus the sound issues, we were good. We were good. (laughs) Now, We've know we found out that you're, you're really a party girl, because um, last yeah. time you were here, you got yeah. your party on. You know, yeah. you got a few friends of mine. Kind of, uh, let's see, let's see. You went to the club, had a few friends drinking a little Patron. With yeah, you, you know. what was the club? You remember the club? Nine sixty. And you okay. hung out with Patron. I do Playtime. that in a lot of cities, so I don't. I don't really remember. You're a party girl, uh, really? Yes. I mean, you know, when when I'm paid to be there, of course. Okay. Exactly. Of course. Right. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's what it is. Not not now, normally, and like usually, it's I'm like sleep deprived and all that kind of stuff. But I get it in. You know? So so now you being a career girl, obviously a writer, a performer, how do you have time to have a relationship or or you know get towards a relationship or something to that effect? Um. You, you steal moments, really. I mean, I'm dating and I don't have that much time to date, but it wouldn't be uncommon to see me trying to work something out at the movies or, you know, dinner or something like that. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it, there really isn't that much time, but I, it's I steal show business, it. you I know. I steal it. You're right. You're right. Now, what would you say is the biggest misconception of, of Carrie Hilson? What would you think? You know that people might say this, that, and the other about Carrie, and it's so untrue. Um. Wow. What is untrue? A lot of people think that I'm a diva, and um, well, not a lot of people, but I've, I've seen it some places on blogs and things like that, but it's the furthest from the truth. I mean, I, I really love what I do. I respect the craft and the art itself, and you know, I think all the years that I've been able to be behind the scenes have allowed me to, to just accept this more humbly because I had to fight for mine. Like, it wasn't given to me, so, you know. Now, are you still writing songs for other people as well? Um, I am, just not as much as I did before right. um, but now I can be a little more choosy I can would you say that's a great way for an R&B artist to break into the business write for other people um I can't say that it's something you should try I mean writing was always I was writing since I was 12 years old even before I was an artist so I can't say that it's something that if it doesn't come natural I would say eh. you know it's, it's like I wouldn't give that advice to someone who's not a great writer already but it can be, it can be. And, and as you can see with myself and Kanye and Neo, and there's so many other great writers who come from behind the scenes and make it to be incredible, incredible artists too. So um, it can be a good route. Well, once again, we want to thank you, first of all, for coming to Connecticut and thank congratulate you, you thank on your you. Grammy nod. Grammy and when you win nod. It, when you Grammy win it, post nod. that picture on Twitter because I'm following you. Oh, post that man. picture up. And, and you know we'll, we'll cut and paste that you and put it, it on oh, the yeah, website. Oh yeah, let me tell them my Twitter address is at uh, Miss Carrie Baby. M I S S K E R I B A B Y. So hit me up. All right. All right. We appreciate the time. Thank you. On your idiots.